First up, we're being asked to differentiate. That's what the d by dx means. So let's just recall rule for polynomials. If you differentiate k, where k is a constant times x to the n, then you will get k n x to the n minus 1. Essentially, we bring the power down and we subtract 1 from the power. If it's constant, the constant just sort of carries on through. So here for a, I've got the, um, I'm going to get 3x squared. And then this one, I get minus 3. That's a special case. Um, I'm not going to go into any more detail on that. And now I'm just going to rewrite this one as 5x to minus 2. To be fair, I probably should have done that like in a line below. But as long as I make it clear, and I'm going to bring the power down. So it's going to become minus 10x to the minus 3. For b, do you know what? I think I'll, I'll put this extra line in. So I'm going to integrate 6x squared minus 2x to the minus 3 with respect to x. Right, now I've got a rule for integration as well, and it's that if you integrate kx to the n dx, then this time you add 1 to the power, so you get x to the n plus 1, and you divide by the new power. Sometimes we just put it all over, sometimes we put it 1 over. Um, I'm going to write it as 1 over, so k over n plus 1. However, we also need a plus c in there, where c is an arbitrary constant. So for this first one, I'm going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, which is 3. So I do 6 divided by 3. Do you know what? Let's, uh, let's put that step in. We'll do that in a minute. And then for this one, I'm going to add 1 to the power. So this time it becomes minus 2. So it's minus 2 over minus 2. But don't forget the plus c. And then if we simplify this, we'll get 2x cubed. These are going to cancel, and I've got a double negative, so I'm going to get plus x to the minus 2 plus c. I think it's fine to leave it in index form. I know they've left it, you know, they've written it using fractions, and you could do, but they are equivalent, so it's, it's fine to do this. Um, for this integration one, it is good practice, I think, just to check and differentiate back just in your head. So bring the power down, we'll get 6x squared. Yep, that's all good. Here, we'll bring the power down, we get minus 2x to the minus 3. That also works. Brilliant.